Hey guys, it's Pink Paper Blossom here and today I've got a very, very exciting video for you guys. I'm entering Janae's giveaway challenge. She's hosting a giveaway to celebrate five years of Happy Mail and I will be sending these products over to the States. For those of you that haven't watched previous videos of mine, I live in Spain, I'm Spanish, so I've never actually sent anybody outside of Spain anything crafty so I'm really really excited I'm really nervous about it because I just really hope she likes the stuff that I've prepared for her by the time you watch this video she will have already received the package and opened it I don't want to ruin anything but I just wanted to share this with you on my channel as well because I really like how it came out so basically if you haven't seen the challenge consisted of sending her five items to celebrate her five years of happy mail and they can either be you know five of the same thing or five different things they can be embellishments they can be anything you can think of i need to send this as flat mail so initially i was just thinking of making this stacked envelope because you know it's not too thick i can definitely send it through flat mail but then i thought you know i need to write a letter and then i made these flowers and i like them so i don't really know how i'm going to be able to send it <laughs> because i really need to try and send it through flat mail because it's a really long journey so yeah i'll figure that out um tomorrow when i go to the post office but yeah let me just show you what i made for her then here's my little letter that i made for her i watched a tutorial from pink strawberry z i don't know if i've said that right um i don't know if it's pink strawberries but yeah she does i'm sure you know her she's got tons of subscribers she does amazing stuff really really easy tutorials to follow and she made something relatively similar to this but instead of having vinyl she used vellum and made it a shaker but i just thought there was enough sequence in other bits and bobs in this mail so i decided to just go for vinyl so basically i've got my little velcro bit i don't have velcro dots guys so i've just done like a little chunk of velcro because i didn't want it to be like too big or anything but yeah anyway this is what i've done this is the front it's got her name a little chipboard piece from the um maggie holmes garden party collection this is the collection that i've used to make absolutely everything in this challenge entry so yeah basically you open it up and then inside i've just made a little pocket and i've gifted her some jemmies from a spanish store well actually i think it's a european store it's called teddy over here but as in t E D I, and I thought since she lives in the States and she doesn't have access to that it would be nice to send her some of the jemmies that I find there so yes yeah, basically just some hard jemmies some green jemmies and some white jemmies and then up here this is the little letter so I'm not going to turn it around because that's just for her to read but I've just stuck it in this little um, pocket that I've made at the top and it just says letter and that's it so that's her little card for her to read and then I'm gonna go with the flowers that I made I was inspired to make these by I think it's handmade with love I think her name's Laurie I'll leave her Instagram linked in the description box anyway she does the most amazing amazing flowers and I just couldn't help myself and I had to try them out so I've just made four in each packet and there's like a floral one and a patent one and there's two and two in each so there's floral pattern and again two and two and then I put a little bag topper there with a tiny rosette mini rosette and then um, just put a little sentiment and I hung from it a little charm dangle with some wire wrapped beads my wire wrapping has to improve guys but i just i don't know why i find it really hard i see some wire wrapped beads from some crafters out there and i'm like how do you even do that like it's actually much harder than people think or at least that's what happened to me anyway but anyway i just hung a um maggie holmes inspired bow charm the wire wrapped beads a laser cut rose and then a little mint colored star oops can you see that there we go and then for her to be able to reuse the bag topper i just decided to clip it on 
with a little clip that I stuck a puffy sticker to. So that's this one. And then the other one is basically the same idea. Another charm with wire wrapped beads, the laser, cut flower, um, a little bow, pink bow and a gold heart. This clip's got two little pom-poms on it. And then again, a, a mini rosette. And she can also reuse that bag topper. So yeah, those are those. Then I made her a little sequin mix that's very garden party inspired. And I decided to just chuck it in here. I stitched the sides and just put some trim at the top. And that's basically it. I've just put mix on there with some tiny alphas. And then the last thing that I made her, well, this is actually the first thing I did, but it's the last thing I'm showing you, is this stack of envelopes. So I made uh, a few of these envelopes. I made this striped one, I made the bottom one, and then the first and second one. But the third one, it's actually a store-bought envelope that I actually lined inside so i'll show you in a minute but basically this is what it looks like i'm really happy with it this is the first one and then basically you just kind of lift it up and you go on to the second one used some of those diamond dots that i recently got from aliexpress there's like a few bits from here that aren't garden party so like this little butterfly over here is actually from heritage i think this wreath here might be from marigold i'm not sure then these are some puffy stickers from the garden party collection but this here is actually a height that i die cut it but yeah that's the second one this is let me just put it down here this is the third one and then this is the fourth and last one i've put a paper flower on there be you i really like how this looks like and then the first one you do actually open with a little Velcro closure. And then in here, I've put little goodies. So the first envelope has some charms that I made and then some of these clips, just with some cabochons that I had and some 3D flowers. The second envelope has these little die cuts. So this is a little typewriter. I've done, I think there's four or five in there. And then these are little tickets. And I just put them in these pocket letter, in one of the pocket letter compartments and just stitched it around and decorated it. So that's that. And then the third envelope this is the lining that I did for the third envelope. So the envelope's actually blank inside, but I just lined it with a garden party paper. I've just got two bag toppers here for her. In the I've done them in the same kind of style. So they've both got rosettes and little sentiments. And then in the last one, I've made her some layered flowers. And then I just put them in some bags with some sequins. And I made a bag topper with some height dies that I got from In Love Art Shop and just decorated it. I love how the height flat back looks with a little puffy sticker on it really love that so yeah this is the envelope stack that i made for her i've obviously drenched it in enamel dots because i'm obsessed with enamel dots um but yeah this is it guys this is my challenge entry for janae's giveaway i will be sending this off tomorrow morning i'm going to the post office to mail it all the way to the states which i'm really excited about and yeah i really hope you're all doing great I hope you've liked the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.